Guys, we are back again with another video. Um, I'm about to head over to BMW Bridgeport for another photo shoot opportunity. I'm excited to see what they have in store for me today because, you know, I never know what they're going to give me till I actually get there. So uh, let's see what they give me when I get there. What's up, guys? We're here at BMW Bridgeport, as you can see. Um, let's see what they got uh, in store for me today. All right, guys. So today at BMW Bridgeport, they got me working with this beautiful, stunning uh, BMW X5 M50i. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. With the red calipers, silver mirror caps, you know, just an absolutely gorgeous car. Sounds amazing. Has the quad exit exhaust again, like similar to the um, X7 M50i I had the other week. Now wait till you see this interior. Here we go. Now look at this interior. Absolutely killer. Diamond stitched leather. I'm sure it's heated seats. You got many different adjustments you can adjust the seats with. And then this, these back seats are absolutely ridiculous. You got plenty of room in here. I'm not a big guy, but, you know, I can sit comfortably back here. you got a charging port right here in the back seat. You got rear climate control. You know, got the heated seats in the back, the vents. Another charging port. Not quite sure what this is for. Um, beautiful looking speakers. The sound system in here is great. It's by uh, Bowers and Wilkins. Great sound system. You get the privacy curtain if you want it, which is a great feature. And then in the trunk, plenty of room for whatever you need to throw in here. You can open it this way, open it whichever way you need it to. Beautiful car altogether. Right, we got that little car review out of the way. I'm gonna set up my camera setup in just a second. And then, you know, I'll go through my process of how I shoot a car, uh, especially when working with a tight space like this, not a lot of space here. So you can see you got cars right there and then cars on this side. And then, you know, you got not too much space here. you got the wall right there and then an exit right over there. And then that's how they get the cars up here. It's a cool little car elevator. But yeah, just give me a second and I'll go through my process. Okay, so today with this car, I'm shooting with my Sony a7R2. I got the uh, Sony 85mm uh, f1.8 lens uh, paired with the camera. Love this lens, absolutely fantastic. So for the shoot itself, I usually uh, set my camera to... Um, it's all depending on lighting, so you can see the sun's coming this way. So it's gonna be a brighter shoot. So right now I have my camera set at one two thousandths for the shutter speed. F 4.0 gives that nice bokeh while keeping the car still nice and focused. And then ISO 400 to kind of brighten up just a little bit the shot. Um, and the ISOs with the Sonys are absolutely insane. You hardly ever get any grain until you start reaching the really high ISOs. So with an ISO 400, I won't get any grain and the pictures will still look crispy, clean. So when I'm shooting uh, cars like this in spaces like these, well, since this is an 85 millimeter lens, I have to stand farther away so you can see just how far away I am from the car. But I like to get down low with shots. So for example, this shot, I just like to get down low. It adds a really nice angle to the shot. And you can see my screen of how low I got in order to get that shot. And then I like to get kind of closer with it and just get that front end shot because it has those beautiful breaks. In addition to that portrait shot, I'll also usually shoot a landscape shot of the front end because it gives a nicer view of the car, shows more of the car. And I just absolutely love shooting horizontally. Um, but my tip for you guys is if you plan on posting like pictures of your cars or anything else 
on Instagram always shoot in portrait mode and then crop to a four by three picture um, when you're editing them because that's what Instagram natively uses so it'll fill up more of the Instagram screen and just looks cleaner overall on Instagram. Take pictures of the back end of the car. You know, sometimes even I forget, you know, it's not always about the front end of the car. You gotta get nice shots of the back end. So I'll usually, you know, get like this angle type of shot. I love these angles. Or for example, another angle is this one. I love this type of angle. Or once I change position of the car, I'll get, you know, just a full back end shot. And then um, I'm gonna be working with the interior next. So uh, I'll explain how I do the interiors in just a second. Now, when you're shooting with interiors, you wanna make sure the sun is like illuminating the inside and make sure that the steering wheel is straight because people will notice that. So just make sure the emblem on the steering wheel is straight when you're shooting interiors. See how I have the, the insides illuminated so you know it looks better for the pictures. And then open the windows when you're shooting interiors. That's a basic concept, but you know, sometimes you forget to. So just make sure you open the windows and keep the wheel straight when you're shooting interiors. Okay guys, so I just finished up with that X5 M50i. Um, the next one I believe I'm shooting is the 340 M or the M340 um, with the cognac interior, and I think I'm actually walking up to it right now. I think this is the next one I'm working with. We're gonna peel off all this stuff. I'm gonna peel off all that. I'm gonna work with that interior. Beautiful colors. I just love this blue. And you know that's gonna be the next car. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So we got the key to that M340i I just showed you in the last clip. So we've got to walk back up to it. But this one should be nice. I have some more tips uh, when shooting with darker color cars because shooting with light color cars and shooting with darker color cars are two different things. So as promised, when shooting with a dark a darker color car rather than you know let's say a white car when when you have a dslr or a mirrorless camera like i do you know you want to make sure you have a um circular polarizing filter because these filters will drastically cut down on reflections like you have on that door that'll cut down on light on the window and they'll make your picture look a hundred times better out of the camera without even editing and then next step is obviously to edit. Um, so once I edit the pictures, they'll look a hundred times better because I have that circular polarizing filter. Next thing I wanted to mention was when shooting with cars, think of, well, not necessarily creative angles, but just different angles to shoot the car. So my personal favorite is the front three quarter shot. I personally love shooting cars at this angle. I think it just makes the car look amazing. Uh, you'll see the pictures if you follow me on Instagram at akmedia203. If you follow me there, you'll see these pictures up on there. Um, let me just show you guys this interior real quick. Got the really nice cognac colored leather. Beautiful leather seats, heated seats. Again, plenty of different adjustable positions. I didn't want to unwrap the car too much. Um, but when you step in here, you have this beautiful gauge cluster. You've got a nice big entertainment system. Just a beautiful interior altogether. Um, so, like I said, you know, when shooting cars, everyone does it different. Um, I do it different than the next photographer. Um, but I know plenty of photographers that are amazing because they do it different. Um, and like I said, you know, get yourself a circular polarizing filter. Think of creative angles. Make sure the lighting works with the uh, angles you're working with. So if you need to have the person you're shooting with either just their car or just it yourself if you're shooting with a dealership like I am right now. Um, and yeah, that's all the tips I have for when dealing with this type of photography. Like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you guys want to see more. Uh, either more of this content, more shooting with other cars, you know, these vlog style videos. This is the other M340i they have available. Um, same blue color, just black interior, but I prefer the cognac. I mean, that's just a nicer color combo in my opinion. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.